What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Jerrick. And I'm back with another video today. If you, um, if you read by the title, you see, today we're gonna get right into it. Feminine Hacks. Because for some reason, I feel like a lot of people, well, a lot of women, whether coming up as little girls or even grown women, um, don't feel comfortable necessarily speaking about sex. Well, it's not sex. Well, they worried about that too, but not sex, but more so the vagina. Like, why you don't want to talk about vagina? You have a vagina? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But let's get right into it. So if you ain't already subscribed, um, please go ahead and hit subscribe because I think I'm going to be giving y'all some good tips for real. Uh, make sure y'all stay clean. And I'm trying to not make the video so long because I know most of y'all don't know me, but I am Jerrica. And yeah, I just got a little. And I am not no doctor. So don't come on here telling you saying that you like disagree with anything i say this is my personal experience and this is what i personally think is good for and um and for not uh the vagina so um yeah i don't know if that just made sense but who cares first things first number one number one i cannot stress this enough do not i repeat do not put nothing in your vagina nothing should go inside it Unless it's, never mind, that's off topic. But still, don't put nothing in your vagina. I'm speaking as for soap, like literally like soap. Do, you're never supposed to stick your actual like wash rag or whatever you wash with up your vagina. Most soaps, like antibacterial soaps and things like that, most things have like fragrances and also chemicals that can throw off your vagina's pH balance. Now, your vagina has its own process. So basically, you know, it like has its natural balance. So anything like a douche, like actually I had looked it up and douche, when you douche, it's actually more risk than there are benefits for douching. Like I don't even understand why people douche anymore. I used to, I ain't gonna lie, I did. I thought it was gonna clean my vagina after, you know, sex or after my menstrual and not knowing I was really messing myself up messing myself up so you definitely run the risk of getting vaginal infections when you stick stuff in your vagina and you just don't want to do that it's just it just never it's never good it's never good the next number two please ladies please wipe your vagina from front to back front to back you see that from this way that way if this is the vagina you wipe it like this, like coming this, like this is the top of it. Wipe it coming down, coming down. You don't never want to wipe it coming like that. This is a bad example of a vagina, but you know what I mean. Please, because when you wipe from back to front, it might seem convenient. It might feel like, I don't know, it might feel convenient for you doing that, but you're also running the risk of the bacteria that's closer to your anus. You're running the risk of getting those bacteria and also like your pee blood or anything that comes out of your vagina you're running the risk of just bringing those bacteria just up you're wiping the bacteria just all over the vagina and that is no good no good so please ladies please wipe from front to back okay and then this number three make sure make sure that when you are in the shower when you do shower or when you do um, go to the bathroom you know, it, it might not always be your vagina that has that odor. It actually might be the inner thighs. You know, I actually wash that area down there with my hands. I don't use uh, the rag or anything. I just use my hands and my good old feminine honey pot soap that I have. I don't put, stick it in my vagina, but I do rub the caresses of my thighs. Because, you know, depending on uh, when I was bigger, like I was, I wasn't always this way. You know, my weight fluctuates. So when I'm bigger... I got sweatier and everything, so it was just like, mm, real messy. And you got to think, sweat, hair, a whole bunch of combinations down there. Just make sure you're getting in those crevices, okay? Please get in those crevices. Um, and not only...
only that with uh number four ladies ladies it is very very necessary to change your sanitary pads or your tampons regularly like oh, i said regular i don't know reg regularly yeah that word i would say every two to four hours i know some um boxes say like six hours if you feel like you go to the bathroom more than that then change it every time you go to the bathroom if that's comfortable for you but please do not be sitting in a a used pad all day thinking that your vagina is gonna be okay okay because no that blood sitting there can cause odors can cause infections can make it just it's just nasty and then not to think you know what that smell like you do not want to smell that you know what blood smells like it stinks and you know it stinks it's like oh my god you could it smell like death like yeah, somebody's bleeding. Like, ugh. ugh. Anywho, boom. Next one. Cotton panties. Cotton panties. Okay? Wear cotton panties. I'm not saying on those sexy nights when you about to go, you know, hang out with the guy or anything like that. No, it's okay to wear a thong or the silky satin panties. That's okay. Just do not do that every day. Like, your vagina is very moist. So... Yeah, like you don't be wanting that wop wop everywhere. You don't want that to be spreading on everything. And not only that, your vagina needs to breathe. Like it needs, it's time to just breathe. Yeah, air me out. So I suggest like at nighttime, I necessarily, I'm a big person that I'm not into thongs and stuff. Because honestly, it feels like it's a wedgie. But uh, I'd rather go with no draws. That's just me. I'm not telling you to be out here with no draws now. I don't know. Everybody can't do that. But I'm also not wearing like, skirts and having my hoo-ha everywhere no i'm not but yeah definitely definitely let give, give some time for your vagina to breathe and also don't always wear tight stuff like that i guess that ties in right behind it do not wear tight tight like undergarments or even leggings or even tights or anything of that nature anything that's too tight down there it's going to mess with your vagina. It can cause a lot of bacteria to grow and yeast to grow when you have that compacted and feeling uncomfortable. And also, yeah, it feels uncomfortable. Why you want something that tight on your vagina anyways? Like, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this is just not for me. It's not for me. Now, uh, the next thing. Water, 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 water. I can't stress that enough. Water, water, water. And honestly, I lost my place. I don't even know what number I'm on, but I got a couple more sips. So, but water, stress that. Water, 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 water. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. It has its benefits for your body, for your skin, your hair, your vagina. Yeah, your vagina. Yeah. Water, 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 water. You are what you eat. You can't think that you're just about to eat fast food, drink coffee, drink pop, and think that your vagina about to be smelling like pineapples. No, baby. No, baby. It don't work like that. It don't, period. So make sure you are getting a good diet so to follow up with water yes good fruit so your pineapples then i know a lot that's the main one people say pineapples 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 but pineapples are good pineapples are good not only just the pineapples but also pineapple juice or cranberry juice i know cranberry juice is very good for the urinary tract so definitely want to make sure you're you're getting your diet and your water down pack because you are what you eat and you can't expect her to smell good on the outside if you're not taking care of the inside. You get what I'm saying? Um, next tip, ladies that are sexually active. You want to make sure that you use the bathroom every time after that's, that encounter, okay? You want to make sure you're using the bathroom, flushing it out with water, warm water. Just flushing it out. You don't have to soap it or wash it real well. You just have to make sure the warm water gets up in there and get it cleaning out. Get get it cleaning out that vagina, okay? Because you don't want all of that sitting. Because you have fluids, the guy has fluids, and then it's all mixing, and, and then it's just not getting clean. And then 
that's just that's just room for bacteria and infection okay you don't want that now let me see here i think i went through most of them but ladies ladies just make sure you just take care of her she's your friend she's your friend you know when something's wrong i think a lot of times we skip over wanting to go to the doctors and we self-diagnose ourselves because we look on google and see hey this um this charge is this or this pain is this and we don't necessarily get to speak about it properly and um not only that not all odors are bad odors a vagina has an odor your vagina has its own smell. Just like people have, we have smells, you know? Your vagina has a smell. Now, ain't nobody saying that it has to be super potent and a nasty smell. Now, once it gets to that type of odor, then yes, something's wrong. You need to reach out and call the doctor. But, vaginas are wet. At least mine is. I mean, and I hear a lot of people talking about WAP, so, yeah. Vaginas are not just dry. So, yes, sometimes your drawers are going to have discharge. Sometimes it's going to feel a little wetter. Now, you know your vagina. Only you know your vagina. You know if it's just regular discharge or it's just like something's wrong. My is leaking. No, we don't want that. Yes, you need to call up the doctor right away. But also, your vagina shouldn't be super dry either. If it's dry, then you take that up with you and your doctor too because uh, I don't. Oh, I don't know. But these are just really a um, couple tips that I wanted to give you guys. And yeah, hopefully you liked them. Hopefully it was helpful for you. If it wasn't, this nah, don't even mind it. But don't be hating on me, okay? And if you ain't already subscribed, please subscribe. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. I really would really appreciate all of the love that you got to give. So thank you, guys. Until the next video. Mwah.